In this video, I'm comparing Joplin and Obsidian, two of the most popular note-taking apps out there. They both use Markdown and give you control over your notes, but they are designed for very different kinds of users. I'll walk you through what each one is really about, how they work day to day, where each one shines, and by the end you will know which app is the better fit for the way that you take notes. So first, what are they and who are they for? Joplin is an open source note-taking app that supports markdown, to-do lists, multimedia notes and syncing across devices. It's offline first and gives you control over data, plus optional end-to-end -end encryption. Obsidian is more than just a note app. It's a knowledge base slash personal knowledge management tool centered on linking notes, exploring relationships and building a second brain. Notes are stored locally in Markdown, and you can extend Obsidian via plugins and visual graph views. So in terms of their features and workflow, with Joplin you write notes in Markdown or rich text via plugins and can embed images, PDFs, audio, etc. It has support for to-do lists and tasks inside notes. You can do syncing via services that you choose, such as Dropbox, OneDrive, WebDev, or Joplin Cloud, with optional E2E encryption. It's offline first, which means notes are local and accessible even without internet. You have web clipper support, plugins, themes, and customization, and it offers notebook and sub-notebook organization plus tags. So in practice, your workflow with Joplin might be capture notes or web clip things, organize into notebooks or tag, sync devices, occasionally edit or reorganize, rely on search to find what you need. Then with Obsidian you also use Markdown for notes with a vault, which is a folder of Markdown files on your device. Now, the power is the internal links letting you build connections between notes and automatic backlinking. You also have the graph view slash network map where you can visualize how nodes link together. They have a plugins and community ecosystem with calendars, task plugins, visual canvases and custom views. It also offers offline use and local storage by default. Obsidian Sync is paid or via third party tools and it does offer a flexible structure which means you don't need rigid hierarchies. You can let nodes grow organically and link when needed. So in terms of their strengths and weaknesses, Joplin's strengths include that it is open source with full control over data format, strong support for encryption and privacy, reliable syncing across devices using services you trust, and it's good for nodes plus task hybrids, and it's simpler to set up with fewer moving parts if your needs are straightforward. The weaknesses of Joplin, less emphasis on linking slash the knowledge graph and network thinking, the UI and experience feel more like a node app than like a knowledge base, and the plugin ecosystem is smaller compared to Obsidian's. So as for Obsidian's strengths, it's excellent for connecting ideas and doing thinking work such as linking, graph view, and emerging relationships. They have a massive plugin ecosystem that lets you turn it into many things, such as a task manager, journal, and spaced repetition. You have local markdown files with no vendor lock-in, and you can manipulate files outside the app, and it's flexible and powerful for long-term knowledge building. The weaknesses, there may be a steeper learning curve, getting the most out of linking, plugins and workflows often takes some time. Sync is also not built in for free, using Obsidian Sync costs money or you must configure your own sync solution. Because it is very flexible, it can feel overwhelming if you just want a simple note app and some features may demand more system resources. So ultimately, which one should you choose? First, I would choose Joplin if what you want is a solid, privacy-focused note app that syncs across devices, handles tasks, and does its job reliably without needing to build a knowledge network. If your node use is more linear, like meeting notes, reference, or tasks, and you value simplicity and control over complexity, Joplin is a solid choice. On the other hand, I would choose Obsidian if you see your notes as a web of ideas, something you will build over time, connect, explore and use as a knowledge system. If you enjoy thinking in networks, linking, connecting thoughts and expect your note system to evolve, Obsidian gives you more depth and flexibility and it is also very secure and it will be backed up on your device since you have the folder. Now if I had to pick a default winner, then I would say that it would be Obsidian for someone who expects to grow with their nodes and wants the possibility of a powerful second brain. But for someone who wants straightforward nodes plus tasks with encryption, Joplin might feel less overwhelming and more dependable. 
So that concludes this comparison of Joblin versus Obsidian. If this comparison helped you make a decision, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.